different video on how to crochet a dishcloth using the basic stitches, single crochet, and the chain stitch. Here are my supplies that I will be using to crochet my dishcloth. I have a pair of scissors, a tapestry needle, I have my crochet hook here, and the size I'm using is a five millimeter crochet hook. And then the yarn that I'm using is 100% cotton yarn, and it is at a four medium weight. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and get started um, with the slip knot. Okay. Now that I have my slip, slip knot done, I'm gonna go ahead and start chaining. And for this dish cloth, uh, we're going to need to chain 38. All right, and once you have your 38 um, chains, we can go ahead and start on that first row. Now for the first row is just going to be simple. I'm just going to do a sew crochet all the way down the chain. So that first single crochet is going to go into that second, the second chain from the, the hook. So that's going to be right here. a single crochet into the next chain and just go ahead and continue that all the way across and when you get to the end just double check how many single crochet single crochets you have you should have a total of 37 single crochets in this first row All right, so once you have completed your row of 37 single crochet, once you get to that last stitch, you're gonna go ahead and chain one, and then you're going to turn your work. Now this row, we're gonna end up doing single crochet, chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet, chain one, skip a stitch single crochet, chain one, skip a stitch all the way across. And then the very last stitch will be a single crochet into the last stitch of that row. So the first stitch, the first single crochet is gonna go into this first stitch right here. Then I'm gonna go ahead and chain one. I'm going to skip I'm skipping this stitch and then I'm gonna go into this one. So I'm gonna be single crocheting into the third, the third stitch. So one, two, three. So all I did right there was single crochet into that first stitch, chain one, I skipped the second stitch and then I single crocheted into the third stitch. And then I'm gonna chain one, skip the stitch, go into the next. single crochet and then after I've done that single crochet I'm going to go ahead and chain one skip that stitch go on to the next one and this is just repeat it all the way across So I have two stitches left here. So I'm going to single crochet. I'm going to chain. I'm going to skip the stitch. And then I'm going to single crochet into that very, very last stitch right there. So in this row, there should be a total of 37 stitches. That includes the chains and the single crochets. 
And once you've gotten to the end, just do your chain one and you are going to turn your work. Okay, so then if you look at that row, it just kind of creates a little space and that's where that um, chain one is between the sewing crochets. All right, so now this third row, we're gonna go ahead and single crochet all the way across. And it's gonna, just gonna be like a little different. Okay, so we're going to single crochet into that first stitch right here. But remember, we did not do a single crochet into that stitch there. We did a chain one, so we have a space right there. So this is going um, to be a chain space. So it's like the chain one space. So you're gonna single crochet into that chain one space right here. So I'm gonna insert my hook into that chain space, pull up my loop, and I'm just gonna go ahead and create that single crochet. The third single crochet will go into that stitch right here, which this stitch is that single crochet from the previous round. All right. And then the next single crochet will go into the chain one space that's in between those single crochets from the previous round. Okay, so that's what that looks like. And if you do have trouble kind of seeing where to put that stitch into, just remember you can just like look at the, the top right here. We see the, um, the V's. So you're just going to do that stitch right under that V right there because that's a single crochet. And even that, uh, you know, chain space, chain one space has a V right there. So you're just going to go right under that. And just continue doing that all the way across. And again, um, when you get to the end, you should have a total of 37 single crochets. Okay, so I'm on those last two stitches. So I got that chain one space here. And remember to get into that very last um, stitch right there. Sometimes that one kind of just hides at the end. All right, so I'm at the end right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and chain one and turn. And it is totally normal for the project to curl. Once you add more rows, so it's going to start to um, straighten out. All right, so the, this next row here, we're just gonna go ahead and do that same thing we did in row two. So we're gonna do the single crochet in the first stitch. I'm going to chain one, skip a stitch, and so crochet into the next. Chain one, skip a stitch, so crochet into the next. Chain one, skip a stitch, so crochet into the next. And you're gonna do this all the way across. Oops, I need to fix this one. Okay, so pretty much um, this is the pattern for the um, dishcloth. So you're just going to alternate rows. So this one we're doing a single crochet, chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet, all the way across. So then at the end you'll do your chain one turn. The next row you're going to do your single crochet all the way across. So you'll single crochet into that first stitch, single crochet into the chain one space, single crochet into the next stitch and then the chain one space and all the way across. Then after that, the next row, we'll do a single crochet, chain one, single crochet, and you're just gonna repeat that back and forth until you have 37 rows. And on that 37th row, that will be a, um, it's gonna be the row with single crochet all the way across. We'll pick back up at the ends. And then I'll show you guys how to uh, create a border so I just completed the last row of the dishcloth, which is row 37. 
Um, before we get started on the border, if you were having trouble or you um, happen to miscount how many rows you have, I have a quick way um, for you to be able to see those rows and to count them. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in real quick here. Okay, so this is the bottom of the dishcloth. So if you stretch it a little bit, you have these little openings. So these openings are those chain one spaces that we did pretty much every um, second row. So if you count them by twos, that should help you count your stitch, your rows in your uh, dishcloth. So two, four, six, eight. Thirty-four, thirty-six, and then that's my thirty-seventh row right there. Now that we've um, verified our rows, uh, we can go ahead and start on the border. Now this border is going to help clean up these edges to make them look a lot neater. All right, so from the very last stitch of the last row, right in this corner, right here, I'm gonna go ahead and chain one. Okay. Now instead of turning your work this way, we're gonna turn to the side and we're gonna add another single crochet into that same corner right there. All right, and then you're gonna add a single crochet into the side of each row. So I'm gonna go into this spot here, get over here. All right, so pretty much you're just gonna single crochet all the way down the side. And when you get to that corner, you wanna go ahead and single crochet, chain one single crochet into that same stitch in that corner. All right, now that I made it to the corner right here, I am gonna go ahead and do single crochet, chain one, single crochet in that, uh, that same stitch in the corner. All right, this tail right here is from the beginning when we did our um, slip knot. I'm just gonna go ahead and crochet over it. You can either do that or just weave it in at the end. It's knotted, so it's not gonna unravel or, or come out if you do it this way. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and go along each stitch on the bottom, single crocheting all the way across. And again, when you get to the um, corner, go ahead and do your single crochet chain, single crochet. And if you wanna um, see how I am crocheting over that string, I just have it laid across like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and just single crochet over it. All right, so I just made my last single crochet of the round. And now we just need to join it to the first single crochet of that round. You can either do this by doing a slip stitch or the invisible join. So if you want to do the slip stitch, you can just go ahead and insert your hook into that first single crochet of that round. I'm gonna pull up that loop right here and then you just pull through that loop and then you can go ahead and cut the yarn and pull it all the way through and then weave in the end and that's it. Or if you want to do the invisible join, um, what you're gonna do is, this is the, the last uh, stitch of the round. Um, I already cut my yarn, so I'm gonna pull the thread all the way through, all right? And then you need to grab your tapestry needle. So now what I'm gonna do is join this to the first single crochet of the round, and this is how we're gonna do the invisible join. So I'm going to insert the needle into that first single crochet of the round, pull that through, and then I am going to put the needle down into the last single crochet of the round, just like that. All right, now that is completed, we can just go ahead and 
weave in the ends. And that is it. And now you have yourself a dishcloth.